so I held a letter. I went to West Side. I told Piggy, please do me a favor. Let's hold a letter for a while. Maybe later on we can. We didn't send a letter. August 10, 1981. About 11, 12 o'clock, my younger brother and General Wesson walked to my house on GSA Road. Wesson was a good spirited eye man. Samuel Doe was a barrel man. Podia was a St. Joseph man. And on and on and on. All the PRC boys had a team. And I was playing in Grand Bassa in Buchanan Town. August 10, 1981. Where Sam and my brother guiding a car. So I said, but my man, you traveling, so what is security? He said, you go and play football, you get security. The how you can help people. So two of them got in the car. So they went to play football. I found our concern. By 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, a relative called and say, there's a counter coup. General Wesson is arrested. Four other PRC people are arrested. But who were? Augustine. Eight o'clock, August 11, in the morning, Do called the PRC and the cabinet and reported counter coup or attempted coup that were signed, implicated, arrested, and will be put on trial. My friend, all the true we party newspaper that were in the town, they went bizarre. They went wild, they communist, they, they, they wrote some awful stories. Do your work again. I'm discussing August 11, 1981. They appointed Podia, vice head of state, Jeffrey Batu, speaker. And so, they arrested Oscar Queer, they arrested Wesson. I went to Mafia, I decided the meeting that do call that morning at the mansion, that was not my meeting. I thought that would be the height of hypocrisy. Two of my men in prison, and I go toast. I went to the, I mean, to the foreign ministry to wait for Mr. Matthew on the step. He came I think just before, yeah, about 9 o'clock. And I said to Matthews, Gabriel, so what happened to Oscar? I was talking about queer. What happened to Oscar? He's in jail. What happened to Wesson? He's in jail. What did those say to you? He said, Carlo, do didn't he explain. I said, and you left the mansion, Gabriel? You left the mansion. Gabriel turned around in his car and drove back to the mansion. Thank you, Gabriel. Thanks for the help. He came back one day, one hour later, and he said, Carla, let go in my office. He said, you need to sit down and stay in his office. You need, to, you need to think this through because it will be hard. He said, Do told me that queer is his friend. And so he will not kill queer. I'm talking about 10 o'clock, August 11th.
10 o'clock in the morning. They arrested the people midnight. And 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm hearing that Oscar Kuya is my friend. He will not be killed. He will not be killed? What do you mean by that, Gabriel? It's color. I thought you asked me to go to the door. Okay, okay, okay. Do said he will kill with son. So how about Henry Zuo? So how about Robert Smoke? Robert Henry Zuo was from Nima. Robert Smoke was from Lofa. Henry Zuo, Robert Smo. Johnson, there's a kid among them, very quiet person. How they say a word? That who was the one? Harry Johnson will be killed. Nessie Toe. Nelson Toe. I heard that Nelson Toe was very instrumental at the mansion. To take over the mansion, Nelson Toe was. Not Penal. But Nelson Toe was 80 years old. And you needed a grand GD person to be there. Samuel Doe, who they gave the leadership of the council, was crying on the beach. He was not there. He had no clue. Samuel Doe had just come from Diamond Bush. He went into Diamond business. But he got a little, you know, the army, they do all kind of things, you know, he got a little promotion. And so the boy wanted legitimacy. The how he became head. It will not because you are part of the, the whatever they did, planning whether you doubt it or not, he was not part of it. They brought him in last minute. And Nelson told you that. And Nelson told did not hesitate the time from I went into the PRC, May 1980, to the time they were killed. Nelson told did not hesitate to say that in his face. You know nothing about this thing. That's why you acting like this. All the suffering, our people been suffering over the year. You don't know the only thing that you know that diamond business. And SK resented every word of it. To the extent that one day we signed office, the two people grabbed guns at each other. And so nursing to were placed on Mr. Dole's five PRC members and Matthew told me they will be killed August 10 o'clock August 11 we say had on normal occasion we say say yeah Tomoko but they all were in San Iquile they came from uh, is it St. Mary in San Iquile so they've been knowing each other for long they were good friends So when they arrested them, and Matthew gave me this bad news, I decided to go to Tomokomba. It was about 11, 11 30 in the morning now. I used to call him Tom Tom. I said, Tom, you gotta help me today. And there, there, there some people they fool, they fool my our men then, and those people that fool our men then, they will do this and we do this. And we, I said, Tom, please, if somebody fool your man. Then correct it, you have the opportunity. Let me make a proposal to you that you cannot refuse. I go to the airfield, I will get a plane, and we ship them to Belayara. He said to me, Why are you talking like that? You know about the coup. I said, Tom, I have seen you were signed together in the most private situation with your girlfriends. That your friend I'm talking about. You have an opportunity to save him. And Tom went on how this and that and that and that and communist and socialist and Tom went off. 
three hours later, he ordered my arrest. I'm talking about August 11, 1981. August 12. In fact, that day, they carried the boys to Supreme Court. I saw Emmanuel Buyo here this morning. He was reporting for one of the newspaper. Ask him. He was on the ground. I think we had a cover. Emmanuel Buyo, all the boys, they were working for the newspaper. I think Liberian Star or like one of the paper. But ask them. Huh? <laughs> Liberian Age. If you get an occasion to talk to Wiyade Koba, actually about this morning, August 11. Because we're all friends. So I went to Buyo, I went to Wiyade, so they would just tell me what happened to Wesai. I was running other options. I went to my brother, who happened to be to have been a very successful lawyer, to reach out to all the top crown people in this town. And everywhere he went, the door was closed. Where someone must be killed. No time. The, the week before this situation, Oscar Kuya, the Minister of Internal Affairs, had invited all the chiefs and superintendents to come so that a conversation can start to take place about decentralization. To talk about how government can do business. We wanted the, the chief superintendent, the, the, the cabinet, the council people to have a meeting. August 12 came and passed. They say we signed, and, and, and the four people, they took them to court. These committees, then the boys started to come. Gaddafi had given uh, the EPRC boys, the boys that were arrested, Gaddafi gave them money, and they sort of made the country communist place, and all kind of stuff. August 13, 1981. Mr. Doe convened the meeting with the chiefs. The chief issued a resounding support for those positions to kill the members of the council. You talk about the failure of the PRC. You talk about what has happened to our country from 1980. You can, you can situate the problem that I'm discussing now to that issue. The councilmen were killed. They are now effectively put away the communist threat. Now they can go on ever after to do government business. <laughs> 